We're so happy for you and Ben Mouth. The two of you are a great couple, and you proved in Descendants 3 that you'll be a great ruler. You can make hard decisions and have learned to admit when you're wrong. You'll be a great queen, but you are super young. We don't want you to rush into marriage until you've really thought things through, and there are some loose ends you need to tie up. Look at me. No, look at me. You love me, you remember? No, you don't. Yes, ben, you do. Look at me. Mal and Ben got engaged in Descendants 3, but Mal is so young. Keep watching to find out everything Mal needs to do before she ties the knot. Finish High School Descendants 3 was a little unclear as to whether Mal had finished high school at Oregon Prep. We know that some students, including Audrey, were at the school for summer school. If Mal hasn't completed her education, she really needs to do that. Becoming queen requires a good understanding of a lot of subjects. She's so close to her diploma. Mal needs to graduate before she gets married. Turn 18 on a similar note, we don't know exactly how old Mal is. We know that Ben was only 16 when he became king of Oridon, but we aren't sure why Oridon allowed a high school student to become king. If we assume Mal is close to the same age, she might not be 18 yet. In most countries, you need to be 18 to get married. Otherwise, you need your parents' stamp of approval. We have a feeling Hades and Maleficent might not want Mal getting married so young. Go to college. After graduating from Oridon Prep, Mal should really consider going to college. She's super smart, and being queen requires a lot of knowledge about politics and history. See, si, give it a bottle. Correct. College is also a great way to figure out what you really want in your life. We're sure there are lots of education options for Mal and Oridon. Travel the world. Mal lived on the Isle of the Lost until she was a teenager. Then she went to Oridon, which is really just a few minutes away. She doesn't know anything about the rest of the world. Traveling when you're young is a great way to find yourself. It helps you grow up and get a new perspective. We'd love to see Mal and Evie take a backpacking trip together. Find herself. Mal has barely figured out who she truly is. She grew up thinking she'd spend her whole life on the Isle as a villain. We know she loves Ben, but there's a lot more to life than being in a relationship. Does Mal really want to just be queen? She might want to have some sort of career outside of ruling Oridon. She might want to focus on charities. Revive Maleficent <laughs> Enough! You all Last time we checked, Maleficent was still a lizard. Mal can't just keep her mother trapped in a lizard's body forever. She needs to revive Maleficent, and then she and Ben need to figure out how to keep Maleficent from going totally berserk. Maleficent and Mal will need to have a serious heart-to-heart -heart conversation. We just hope Maleficent is willing to be a good mom. <laughs> She's funny. <laughs> You're very funny. Make peace with Hades. Mal and Hades started making peace at the end of Descendants 2, but Hades was absent Mal's whole life. They have some serious issues they need to get over. They don't know much about each other. We know Hades cares about Mal, but he doesn't know how to be a dad. We want these two to get close. Mal might even want him to walk her down the aisle at her wedding. Have important conversations. A happy marriage requires a lot more than love. Ben and Mal need to have some serious conversations. Do they see their future going in a similar direction? Do they both want kids? They need to figure out how many kids they want and how they want to parent. They need to learn how to overcome relationship challenges. Look at me. No, look at me. You love me, you remember? No, you don't. Yes, ben, you do. Look at me. They definitely need to be discussing their future goals. We hope these two are having hard conversations. Select her wedding party. Once all the hard stuff is done, Mal gets to plan her wedding. It's pretty much a given that Evie will be her maid of honor, but who else will be in the wedding? She and Uma were close when they were younger, but are they good enough friends now for Uma to be a bridesmaid? Mal might want Carlos and Jay to stand on her side, but Ben might make them groomsmen. There's a lot to consider. Say yes to the dress. Mel also needs to select the perfect wedding dress. We know that Evie will design something beautiful, but she'll have to have a lot of planning sessions with Mal. Mal's dress needs to be perfect since it's a royal wedding, but it also needs to show off a lot of her personality. And then there will be fittings and alterations before she can say yes to the dress. What else do you think Mal should do before she marries Ben? Let us know in the comments.
Thanks for watching. Be sure to like this video and click that subscribe button for more great content from The Things. We'll catch you next time.